I'm Peyton. I'm Sebastian. I'm 11. He's I'm five. <laughs> what is the best part of the weekend? Uh, probably catching fish by uh, myself and like that. My dad net, net it, netting it and stuff. So fishing. What else? Uh, what was one of your favorite parts of the weekend. I said fishing. What aside from fishing? I like fish, help. I like fishing with my dad because like. We are like kind of like a team, and it's fun helping each other out. And so, my name is Brett, and I'm 34 years old. I've been coming here for roughly 20 years. I started back when I was 12 coming here just conventional fishing and it's just grown on me. I've transferred over to fly fishing roughly about five years ago and I haven't turned back since. We had the kids out here this weekend and it was awesome, you know, being able to fish with my son and my friend's son. Just being able to get them out of the water, on the water and, you know, off of the screen time, I think it's important to get them out in nature and uh, check out something new. I'm Chris, uh, I just turned 32 years old and uh... Uh, we're doing some fly fishing. Uh, main purpose of us being down here is to uh, kind of bring our kids. I got my son Sebastian and uh, Brett's got his son Pey Peyton down here and we're kind of teaching them the ways uh, uh, of fly fishing and uh, what it can teach you more so in uh, life as well as, you know, catching fish. Casey? Yeah. That's a caddis? Is that cool? Yeah. These bikes. Let's go try to catch a fish. Caddis! Uh, Larry, I'm 66 years old, and we're down here in Highlandville, Iowa. And uh, how long have you been uh, part of this community down here? Well, about, well, I've had this place for about uh, 15 years. And, uh, You've been fishing this area for how long? Well, probably since the early 70s. So how did you find this place? I uh, trout fished other areas in Iowa here and finally drove up here one day and fell in love with it and uh, started staying here. Camped here a lot and, and that down below here we used to camp and I had a, a camper myself I used to pull behind and stayed up here several times with it. Been here ever since. <laughs> So the reason why it's so special here is due to, I've been coming here since I was a kid and being able to bring people here and showing something that I truly am passionate about is super important to me. Especially my son and seeing him be able to catch fish. Um, that's huge, especially by himself. Fly fishing isn't easy for all folks. And we want to pass it on to the next generation. Uh, bringing my son here to uh, learn how to fly fish is kind of important to me. This is where I started fly fishing. Uh, Brett actually got me started here uh, a few years back. Uh, we fished a couple of the spots where I caught my first fish on the fly here. Uh, so it was kinda, it's a little bit nostalgic and uh, it never really turned back. So uh, it's important to get him on the same waters for me. It's, uh, it's a good feeling to see him catch fish in the same waters where I learned how to fly fish. How does it feel to have two generations behind you fishing down here? Well, the best part about it is having them up here fishing with me. Fly fishing has changed my life because it's a place where I feel completely free from all the day-to-day -day stuff that goes through your head. It's also helped me to become patient with myself and others. My goal with fly fishing is to get more people involved and get the younger generation involved as well because they're going to be the ones that carry it on.